That'll kill you. Okay. Yes. What What was I going to do? We need to define the look at. So we can keep our camera, well, our name looking at the camera. And we need to enter a reset. Yes. Let's do the reset first. So in our player controller, we're going to add a filter. Let me drop this down here. We can add a command filter to actually we don't need to act define another one. Is this um you can add multiple filters. And you can chain the filters like um what do you call it like a factory method? So we, we need a new a new command that's called let me copy what you guys are typing there. Reset. And reset would let's use that that method there. We still need to check for the player always like who is who so you know people don't mess with other people people are messed up that way no man you that's that's my aim so now let's say you you you're you're a prime example. You want to plug and play. And what for instance what functionality would you like? You know, defining a not a greeting. I want to move. Defining like something like moving the the object around that can be easily provided through you through the API. Right? But knowing what someone needs to do or would like to do is harder than, you know, because you don't, you don't know what, what someone wants to do or is trying to do or needs to do in, in their particular instance. So that's probably what's really eh about it, you know. You don't, you don't have the foresight of everyone's needs. So let's zero out our velocity. And let's uh, reposition our rigid body. So repositioning our rigid body is going to need a start point. Let's save that. So we have a start position, don't need to save that. In our awake, we just record what our start position is. Mm. Yeah. Who's the same thing? Is the is the end the programmer? That that's where you're lost. So that's why this is pretty. I mean, this is like you know, if you want to spawn something, it's the like two lines of code. You subscribe and you spawn when you receive it. There's static accessors and all that kind of stuff. So plug and play, you can get pretty close, man. Pretty close. Cool, so now we have our start position and we can set that also. So if someone presses reset, we call this command. 
and let's make sure that works so your start position is called when you awake and I'm gonna add a random up times so I'm doing this in case two people press reset at the same time rigid bodies in the same space they don't like that so they explode out <laughs> so we don't want that to happen either so we're gonna random the range between one and about five we want that make sure that's a float value so cool so that's you always have your own little random position thingy there so when you press reset reset when you receive a move you do that one so how about on on move command that makes it nice and succinct so we'll call this one on reset command cool Yep. That's what I do. Well, with that in mind too, Hayden, you you can um when you're building the game, you have to keep in the the fact in fact in mind like probably where you want to take it so you can design the code as such. That way you won't have to go back and do a lot of changes in the actual code that you have already written. So we have debugs on the movement here, and that's probably slowing things down. So let's take that off. So the max speed is five. And for the Y, I'm going to allow for two times the speed on the Y. Because it seems like it'll need a little bit more of a punch. And I should set one for each, huh? Yeah, do that. Cool. So what do we do? We reset. So let me move my... So I can grab one of these nice thingy here. Let me see if I could make a jump. All right. So I just made a jump. Alright, and oh man, I didn't reset or unless I got boot out of the way. Reset. Yeah, I reset. Cool. 